Okay. Hey, as you can see, the title says Take 3. Um, the first three have gone out of because of network connection. Let's see if I can make this one happen uh, with no flaw. So I should have this down, and I should sound really smooth, cool, and awesome. Itinerant Hobbyist here, a.k.a. Todd, here to give you a little review of the Battletech Alpha Strike Ad Hoc Unit Cards, product number 35610 from Catalyst Game Labs. This is a set of cards that they've come out with to support their Alpha Strike rules that have just come out in hardback at Gen Con. Those scurvy dogs, I pre-ordered it, and it was released there, but I pre-ordered it, I mean, like two weeks ago, and I had no idea that I'd have it by... I mean, I'd really... Skepticism was there on mine and many parts that they would have it ready, but man, they did, and they got it the Thursday, the morning of Gen Con. They had them there. My friend Jay picked this up for me. Thank you very much, Jay. Fifteen bucks, that's the price on the thing, so there was no special deal with it there. You just were able to get them there. He was able to pick them up. I thought later, you know, I pre-ordered the book, but I thought, oh, I should get the book there. And he said, yeah, I think you get two minis with it. And I'm like, oh, but he couldn't get, you know, I, I didn't want him to go out of his way. And he said the lines were pretty long at that point when he went back, so I, sh I wish I would have thought of that before. But anyway, I will be getting the book later, no minis, um, if they were, in fact, doing that, which I guess they were. Um Anyway, these are for use with the Alpha Strike book, um, and you can print these uh, cards soon via their uh, master unit list, M-U-L or MUL. It's spelled on their website, and I could show you, but I don't need to because you guys can figure it out. But um, you can um, download them and make you print your own cards pretty easily, free, so that's cool. They will be black and white, uh, I hope, because I don't want them in color, frankly, to print on. You don't need them in color, really. But if someone's going to print them for you and I'll pay for it, that's fine. But, but once that's up, they're just making some tweaks and fixes to make sure that they match with the uh, Alpha Strike rules. And if you pull them up now, they say Quick Strike, as far as I know. I don't think those will be ready for, I don't know when, a couple weeks. There are a couple of people who have made their own, a Battletech engineer being one of them. And uh, some others have made files that you can, you know, you can go look them up and you can download them. And they've got all the stats for Alpha Strike already. You know, um, just know that they're not official, but they're they look really good. And um, some are in color, some are in black and white. So there are options out there for making cards, or you can just make your own. Like they give you blank ones in the book, and you can make your own. And remember, if you get the Strategic Operations book you can make your own, you can create your own mechs and then convert the stats. I will not be doing that because that is not some part of the game that I enjoy, but it is something you can do. So Catalyst Game Labs 35610 is the part. It comes in these little box, like holding two decks of cards, essentially. Um, I probably won't be storing them in these just because I want to keep them in order. Now let's take a look at the cards themselves. There are 90 cards in the pack. Uh, one side of them is a uh, matte finish. Um, it's kind of hard to tell here, but it's matte, and when I pull up the other side, you'll see the difference. They're about the thickness of uh, playing cards, and they are the size of normal playing cards. Flip them over, and they are glossy, so you can see the difference. I mean, I know it looks like a glare, but it's it's just because of the camera and the lighting. But there's that shine there, you can see. So there is a nice glossy finish on this side. So that you may. And make sure you have a dry erase, low odor, so you don't get high doing it. And you can check off your, your bubbles as you take damage. You know. And take heat, or if you need to write something else like, uh, you know, ammo hit, you can do that. You could also change the skill rating if you wanted to. Now, the first time I did this, it was kind of hard to get off. Should have done one before I did this to see. I couldn't really get it. The other one I did came right off, so who knows? It could have been the finish on the card. Comes right off. Now I gotta say, some markers come off easier than others. Um, I'm tempted to sleeve them, 
But I want to find something that is less slick than these because they just slide around. Take a look at this. So this is what I'd use. I just copied the ones out of the book, made my own bubbles. So look at that compared to that. Yeah, pretty nice. So let's look at some of these cards. I will remember because I'm approaching this from the noob zone. I want to make sure that I remember stuff. So let's take a look at these cards. I won't look at every single card. Don't worry. I want to show you um, what the cards look like, and then I'm going to do definitely focus on some of the special cards that they included in here. There are 90 cards. Uh, 80 of them come straight from the book. So if you look in the Alpha Strike book in the back, near the back, for the section where they show you the different units so that you can have some stats and some um, max, make some lances, and so they put together some lances and stars. So a lance is inner sphere with the four max, and a star is, uh, I believe it's called a star, for the clans, has five mechs. So um, it has five mechs. These pictures come straight from the book, so these match what's in the book, in the Alpha Strike book. I like this as a noob because it gives me some painting ideas. You can find painting ideas all over the web, big one being Camo Specs online. You can link it from the Battletech site. You can find a link to it from the Battletech site, and it's all their official painters, I guess for lack of a better word. And so you can get some ideas for color schemes, but this can help you as you're painting. You know, you start buying minis and getting minis. You know, as I said, I, I'm going to be using the introductory box minis to use for the ones that are in here. There's maybe uh, 15 to 20. I'm just totally pulling that number out that um, that are represented here from the introductory box set. They're not going to look like it because they're from 3025 or whatever, and these are 3050 and older or newer. 3050 being the date, so 3050 or 3025. 3050 is about when um, Alpha Strike takes place. And, I mean, that's when that, the, not, not when the Alpha Strike takes place, but that's when they kind of set the, um, set the time period that they want to talk about and share in the universe and the minis that they show and the armies that they set up. Um, and like in the introductory box set, it's 3025, which is, I suddenly forgot what the, the, the error was, but you know, that's all inner sphere. 3050 is when the clans came along. So it introduces a lot of new variety and heavier hitting equipment. It's kind of like the late war, World War II, you know, with the cooler, bigger tanks, opposed to like early mid-war. So uh, ramble on city there. So... Basically, you know, it gives you your um, the uh, kind of the number letter designation. It gives you a number down here. This is number card 53 of 90 of the Alpha Strike set, and I I started to organize it by number, but I thought that's not going to do me any good because I don't know what that number represents. So I sorted them by uh, alpha, alpha alpha numeric based on that. And if there's a if there's another albatross, I'd look at this number here. So let's go over the stats on here. It's got the battle value, BV of 17, and whatever the battle value is, calculated up via the method of conversion from standard battle tech. Get your type when here, they're all BMs, and that does not mean what you think it might mean. It means battle mech. Uh, the size is 4, and I believe the sizes range from 1 to 4. You have a move in inches, and you can have also a jump in there if they jump. And a skill of 4, remember, this is your baseline for die rolling. So uh, his skill of four, whenever he's going to shoot to hit or do some other thing that requires a skill check, he's going to start with a plus four on his roll. And uh, these are your range bands and the damage you do. So shooting short range, which is zero to six inches, there's a zero modifier. It does four points of damage when it when and if it hits. Uh, medium is six, you know over six to twenty four, uh, and that is. Two modifier, so you'd add that two to that four, so you're at uh, you know a six. Uh, well, I'm sorry, I, I said that wrong. Right now, so you, at that point, you need a six or less to hit. Okay. I am suddenly I'm having a brain freeze. Pardon me. As someone says, uh, what does the guy say on that podcast? Anyway, back that up. You need to get a six or more to hit. 
So, like, if this is the only modifier, if you shoot in short range, it would be four to hit, four or more. But then you go medium range, it's two to hit, so now it's a six to hit. Or if you went long range, which is 24 to 42 inches, they would deal three damage, but the modifier is four. So you'd add it with four to four, so now you need an eight um, plus to hit. Um, oh, my gosh. Yeah, an eight plus to hit. Then you add in the modifier for the movement factor or the movement of the unit you're shooting um, plus other things. So that's going to be pretty hard to hit. The battle value can adjust based on all of them. We're given a skill four of the 80 that come in the book because that's the base and that's how they tell you, they suggest you start out gaming it. And when you have a skill level of four, there is no adjustment to the battle value. You know, the skills range from zero to seven, zero being awesome and seven being terrible. So, like, if I stepped into a mech today, I'd be a seven. Um, then I'll show you some really good ones later um, in the special set they have. Um, so, remember, um, so that reflects that. So, like, if you're a zero, it's going to really modify this number. I think it's, like, two and a half or something. So it's going to be like uh, 34 plus 8, so it'd probably be like 40, uh, 42 or something would be your battle value if this was a 0 or something like that. I, they had to give you a chart to calculate it. So what you could do is you could just cross this out with a dry erase and put 2 and then adjust the battle value. And you have to do that because if you're shooting 0 with that, I mean, that means you're starting out your die roll and you just need to get a 0 plus to hit, but you got to add in all these. But look at that. So that reflects that. I showed you the damage. Now this has an overheat value. I should look this up. Considering it's just take three, you'd think I would have looked this up by now. But overheat two means it can do another two points of damage um, added to this at all these ranges. I believe at all these ranges. Now I'm suddenly having a brain fart. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to don't mess up a rule. But you can apply extra damage to firing. And then I think it might only be short and medium, but I'll... We'll have to look that up when we're getting into more rules discussion in a different uh, video. But when you do that, you add some heat. And the thing I'm not sure of is if you add one heat or two heat because it's a two. So I'll have to look into that. The next number is your armor. So you know you cross these off as you get hits against you until you cross off the last one. You go into structure, and then you start rolling for criticals every time you get a structure hit. Um, so, but not if you get two hits in one roll. So, like if the damage roll, you wouldn't roll two times. Um, and then you have your special rules down here. Uh, this being uh, flak one. So, if you shoot at an aerospace unit, you would still deal out one damage in the three range bands. As indirect fire one, meaning it can do one damage against indirect fire or I mean, with indirect fire. So, over a hill, through over trees, over a building, whatever. As long as one of your other units that you're fighting with can see that uh, target unit. And then, of course, you have another one called case. This helps you in, 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 case, of, in case of an ammo hit. Um, it's not become, it, it lessens the effect and essentially makes it not a critical hit. So, usually, it's a critical damage if you get your ammo hit and you blow up and die. Case just limits it to one damage. There's something called ENE, which is energy. In case two, um, would it prevents it from getting any damage. Now you're maybe wondering, where do you get these special rules? Is page 164, 165 is the summary of them in the special abilities section of the Alpha Strike book. They have a list of I'm going to say, oh boy, a lot, 150 special rules um, that list all these out. When we get into some special cards, I'll really spend some time looking at them so we can kind of look at what some of them are. Then from those summaries, it gets in more detail, and then those get even into more detail. So basically, this is what you get. Remember, you get 80 cards because that's what's represented in the book. Um, you know, here's a Daisha Prime, you know, very weak. Um, this one, this boy gets hit, and he's down. He has short-range missiles. He has case. He has Omni. So that means Omni means he can carry some other units from clans. Um, but look at that move. 26 move. Uh, some of these I'm looking at for the first time. Holy cow, 26 move. I don't even know what that modifier is for that. That's crazy. Um, let's just look that up while we're at it. Uh, point value, determining critical hits. Uh, to hit modifiers table. Uh, 
Yeah, it's a plus four to hit that guy. So long range, you're not hitting him. Um, I mean, remember, and remember, this is what some drives some battle tech people crazy, and I understand why. He always gets this. So he may not move that turn, but he still gets it. Because remember, I don't think I need to say remember because I'm not sure I ever said it. The um, turn, Alpha Strike turns are about three battle tech turns. So if you're playing traditional battle tech, it would, you know, you'd do that three times. Um, so anyway, so that's that. So it kind of goes on. Um, cool stuff. I really like the, you know, the model for that. I've kind of talked about on my Facebook and on my blog a little bit about the darkness of the cards. Some of the writing, like this damage, is a little hard to read because it's such a thick uh, font. Um, some of it's a little tough to read sometimes if it squeezes some stuff in. I thought the pictures were dark. I, it's funny. I mean, looking at this light, it's like, well, they're not bad at all. They aren't. Um, but you, you do have to have a pretty well-lit room um, while you're playing. You should have that anyway, just for everyone's eyesight. But it's okay, so that's that. So there's 80 cards, all based on the, the next that are in the book. Now, let's take a look at this. The fun special cards that were included, and let's see if I can... This. Okay, so the cool thing is it included nine special cards based on special pilots from the universe of Battletech. Now, this is a cool way to meet, introduce yourself to some of the uh, stars of the universe, as it were the Luke Skywalkers, Princess Leia's, Darth Vader's, and whatever <laughs> of the world of Battletech. I know some of the names just because you hear it about a lot, and some of them I didn't have any idea. Um, the um, so there are special rules with these people, and for example, here's Raymond Aristokov, Aristokov, Parov, and his battle master. Now there's a website called Sarna.net, S-A-R-N-A.net. It's a Wikipedia-like, so it's not 100% accurate, but what is? Um, of all the everything, the planets, the characters, the mechs, the universe, the, the games out, uh, everything about Al, the TV show, the movies, the graphic novels, whatever there is. I don't know if there are even some of that stuff I just rambled off there. There was a TV show you can find on YouTube. Um, Anyway, they would have these characters, and I would like to maybe do another uh, uh, hangout where I talk about each of these characters. Maybe I do a little uh, spiel about each of them, give a little history um, of the fluff if you're into the fluff. So this Raymond Aristokov, if you go look in the, the lore and the history of Battletech, he piloted a Battlemaster, probably painted like this, and he... Um, you know, made some mark in the universe because of that. So let's look at about two or three of these cards. I don't want to give them all away here. There are seven special traits. Demoralizer, Sharp Shooter, Fist Fire, Combat Intuition, Sniper, Bloodstalker, and Multitasker. Now, take a look here real quick. I don't have another Battlemaster to look at, I don't believe, but check it out. It's a 35, and that's because he have, has a skill of 2. So that means he starts his die rolling, he needs to get a 2 or higher to hit, and then you add all the other modifiers as well. All the same information. Um, this doesn't have much in, in awe of all the um, damage. But let's just go through what some of the special abilities are, just so we can learn not only the special abilities just for characters, but what some of the other special things that you can do in the game. Um, like I said, Case uh, protects you from ammo hits when you roll for critical. Tag, besides being the name of my in, one of my in-laws' um, terriers, terrier is that right? One of their dogs is named Tag. Um, target acquisition gear units can designate targets within short and medium range for artillery attack, so he can be peering over the hill and spot a target and tag it for artillery. So that's pretty cool. Probably helps the chance to hit on the to hit rolls on artillery which I've not done much reading on C3M C3 there's a lot of C3 rules so command control um, command control communication 
I probably got those out of order, but there's a lot of rules like that in here, and I have just touched the surface of them, so I don't really want to get into that, but it, it adds command and control to the game, which is, would be really important in a universe where you have a lot of communication, satellites, control, command, and all that. But C3M is, um, and you could have a number after it sometimes, it enables C3 network with up to three units that have C3S or C3RS specials, um, it just helps you can probably control and um, I'm sorry coordinate your what you're doing and so that's pretty cool. I really can't tell you much more about it because I don't know. Um, MHQ5 and to me that let's see it looks really it's so funny when I'm looking at it from my angle it's a little hard to read but on the video it's actually quite easy to read. But MHQ5 uh, means unit provides battlefield intelligence capability. And I think it's to a five, level five. And I again, I don't know much about that, so we'll get into that later. Now, those are all; those first four are special units that anybody could have because they're just based, you know, on the special abilities on page 164, 165, summarized in the Alpha Strike book. But what is cool, and these, so the next nine cards have a special, a special one here: multitasker being his. And here's what multitasker does: when making weapon attacks, this unit can select two targets and resolve fire against each one separately in the same combat phase. The damage value of each attack is equal to half of what the unit would normally deliver at the appropriate range bracket rounded down. So normally you can only target one unit, but here he can target two at short range or medium range or long range. And if it's short range, if so he has to roll to hit for one and roll to hit for the other one, and he would do two damage to each of those units if he successfully hit a two hit roll on each of them. So that's pretty cool. So you can do that. So there's things like that. Now let's look at a couple more. So that's, um, let me just read the cards that were are, and then we'll go back. There's Raymond Aristikov, Victor Steiner Davian, and his Daishi Prometheus, Natasha Kerensky and her Dacia Widowmaker, Matt Huan and his Hellstar, Aiden Pride and his Madcap Pride, Lorne Joffrey and his Rifleman, Joshua Franco and his Nightstar, Kai Allard Lau and his Yen Lo Wang and Herbert Baldrick Zeus Herbert. So those are all the special cards. Now let me look at one that really stood out to me as I was going through this during my first and second takes. Um, this is she's the the most awesome one there is, but she's expensive, ladies and gentlemen. It's Natasha Kerensky. I believe she's a clan planner. That becomes kind of a, um, uh, you know, the Black Widow. I'm not sure the name of it. I wish I did, but this is one that a lot of people paint. Not just hers, but the the Widow um, Natasha's. I think they're like a Merc unit at some point. I don't know, but they are very popular to paint because they're black, they're red, they're cool, they're awesome. There's a lot of stories about her. She's cool, whatever. Um, but check out this number, a battle value of 79. Why? Because, well, why is several reasons, but why? A skill of zero. So she starts out her rolls, she needs to roll zero or more. Well, guess what? She hits it. But then you have these other modifiers. Now look at that damage. Holy cow, 7, 7, and 4 with an overheat of 3. So she could do 10 damage on one hit. Crazy. Now look, she has case and omni. Omni means you can carry, like, battle armor with you. That's pretty cool. I haven't really looked at the transport rules at all because I don't have any need to. Because I don't have them. When I get them, I'll read them. Demoralizer. Let's read what the demoralizer rule does. Every enemy unit that comes within six inches of this unit must roll 2d6 before attempting to make a weapon or physical attack. If the roll is eight or less, the enemy unit is demoralized. Demoralized units reduce their move by half, rounding down, and suffer a minus one to hit modifier for all attacks made against the demoralizer. So that's pretty cool. So you get within six inches, you slow down because you, you're just in awe and it's harder for you to hit this person. Now, I think there's a typo there because it says the the enemy unit suffers a minus one to hit modifier for all attacks made against the demoralizer. I would think that would be plus one because I think it would be harder to hit and all, all those modifiers are plus when they make it harder to hit. So. And we'll have to look at that and see if that's a uh, narrator or if I'm just not understanding it correctly. But that's pretty cool. So my overall review of these um, is a buy. For 15 bucks, you get 90 cards, actually 89 units, plus the special card with the rules. 
and you get um, color cards. I'm not going to print them in color because I don't want to pay for the ink. I'm not going to print them on, uh, you know, buying playing card type of paper. I, again, I could. I don't want to. I, if I print any, they'll be on paper, black and white, and they'll be um, in a sleeve protector. They will be updating their MUL or master unit list, so you can pull these cards up and many others, because there's no way they're going to make all of them for all the units they have. I'm interested to know what their plans are for the future for these. I hope they do some infantry and some tanks and unit uh, VTOLs and other things. Um, so that's pretty cool. At $15, I think it's a good buy for what you get. Um, and I, you know, maybe it's a good idea to sleep them. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about them. Um, they're thick, they're, they're cool, and I plan to use them in my game that I've got set up that I put on Facebook, and I believe I did blog about it as well. Thank you all for watching. If you've lasted this long, like I said, it's a buy. Go for it, and I look forward to receiving the book. I will do a similar type of review when I get the book, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks a lot. See you in the next vid.